Hello, this is Jeff once again, and today we will bring you a... another unboxing video. And... a knife. So, I buy too much stuff online, and that is obvious to say, and I'm not sure what's in this box. So it's always a mystery. But I'm going to start uh, combining my unboxing videos with maybe review videos, just to save on some time. So, ah, bill wrap. I love bill wrap! Yes. Anyway, I love how they just throw a bunch of stuff in the boxes. All right. So it's going to be hard to do a review on all of this at once. All right. So this is a ultra calm camera record. What is this thing? Oh, I know what this is. This is uh, basically a disconnect module for low voltage controller that runs off of uh, USB uh, mini. Pretty sure it's mini. So this is a USB mini uh, low voltage controller. Um, pretty simple, pretty self explanatory. You wire it into your harness. When your battery gets low, it turns off power. So you don't drain your truck battery, your car battery, or electronics battery off of your 5 volt items. Once plugged into her. So it's just a pre made low voltage controller, which could be coming very useful. That's the first thing. I don't think I need a review on that. I'm pretty sure it's self explanatory. Low voltage, turns off, truck not stranded, middle of nowhere. So, no review needed on that one. These are something for my work. So, I will grab my phone in just a moment and show you this guy, which I need for work. And um, these guys, which this company, uh, Fieldline, is actually pretty good. I went, there was a, um, the trading post uh, that used to occupy an old Bob Evans, which is like a gun pawn shop. They were going out of business, and I bought these from them for like 3 or $5. And this is actually an AR-15 magazine pouch. And um, I have an AR-15. And I bought these pouches, but I bought these pouches for another reason altogether. Um, and actually, it turned, ended up turning into another reason. So, anyway, back on this one. This and this should work together. Because now my job, well, one of them, I have a couple jobs, um, that I'm not going to quite disclose, I require a web belt. Or a tactical vest for one of my jobs and this guy should make having my phone on me a lot easier to so be safe from scratches secure and professional looking and ta -da. it's perfectly fine for the s9 so nice so nice great for my vest so that's why I got this guy. Um, it's very durable construct. Of course, I expect it to be for the price I paid for. I think it was like close to 10 or 14. Um, but even just for someone just to have it on their regular pants belt would be nice too. Um, of course, I got these that have like the buttons that can come off and go on top of your tactical vest. They also have uh, these as well in case you have the locking mechanism or the locking pin so you can use that as well. Buttons are pretty sturdy. I'm not seeing any issue with the quality. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Velcro because, you know, dog hair, cat hair, any kind of hair, any dust, debris gets in there. But um, it's your atypical Molex tile type item. So, pretty self explanatory item there. And this is my vape. One of my vapes, one of my older vapes. Which brings me over to this item, which the reason I bought this was primarily to hold my vape in. Because, you know, who has a pouch that actually holds their vapes? And this one, of course, is brand new in package, so it's not going to cooperate with me. But these are fully adjustable when you put them in there, or get them adjusted out to the size of your vape. They just slide right in, which this is going to need to be adjusted for this fit. But essentially, it comes down there, and the only thing sticking out is the tip of the vape. These are like, I think, 
five bucks. Pretty nice. So I got two of those, but mostly because my job has some tools I use that fits those perfectly. So, and this is a uh, uh, an example of an AR mag, I guess. You know, because AR of course stands for assault rifle. It doesn't. Google it. It doesn't. So I, I didn't like these necessarily as AR mags uh, holders. Um, so I use something else. But these are great for like certain tools that you would have in the job. Um, or vapes. Anyway, that's a very quick unboxing and I don't think any reviews needed. Well, I guess that was kind of the review. These are actually fairly durable. The one I have has lasted for a very long time. Um, and not showing really any signs of going bad. But this is a very simple design. Field line, I like. Simple. Useful. Feels good. Till next time. You liked that, didn't you? Well, there's more on Patreon. There will be things that can only seen by supporters. Go to patreon.com forward slash shadow dragon. If you want to be a part of the action and reach out to us, you can come join us on our Discord channel. All you have to do is go to shadowfoot.net and click on the Discord button.